Now, when a big story breaks and ABS-CBN News wants to be there first, there's nothing faster than taking a news chopper. Future Perfect takes a ride in our very own eye in the sky, the ABS-CBN Sky Patrol, and looks at the broadcast technology that gives audiences a live bird's eye view of major breaking developments. Disasters out at sea, tragedies in areas inaccessible by land travel, and historic occasions like the motorcade of a new president traveling to his inauguration. When these types of events occur, ABS-CBN News calls in its Sky Patrol fleet. This Eurocopter AS-350B2 is the newest of ABS-CBN's three Sky Patrol choppers. With a top speed of 120 knots, or about 160 kilometers per hour, Sky Patrol can take off from the helipad of ABS-CBN in Quezon City and reach the outskirts of Metro Manila in just a little over two minutes. With a full tank of fuel, Sky Patrol can fly for more than three hours, traveling as far as Calibo Aklan before it needs to land for refueling. Its junior pilot, Captain Edgar Allan Carrion, is a 22-year Philippine Air Force veteran who turned civilian a year ago when he joined Sky Patrol. I think you know, the thing that I experienced most in flying military helicopters is doing rappelling jobs. That's why when I perform hovering, hovering the Sky Patrol helicopter, it's uh, a little bit uh, similar. similar. The command pilot, Captain Agaton Aga Bardos, is a former aircraft mechanic who switched to flying 16 years ago when Sky Patrol first took to the air. Captain Aga's most recent missions with Sky Patrol included the Cebu bus accident in June, where 20 people, mostly Iranian medical students, were killed actually covered a lot of uh, disasters that needed a uh, quick response by our news crew. Oh yes, that's why sometimes in my office, especially when I'll be assigned in Cebu, they called me disaster man because when I'll be assigned in Cebu, uh, there's, there's something will happen. That's why they call you in. You're the, the disaster, uh, disaster man. man. <laughs> so any superhero deserves to fly, that's what disaster man does. Before we took the chopper up for a spin, Reyna Tala, the head of ABS-CBN's ENG van operations, explained some of Sky Patrol's broadcast features. Guide us through some of the most critical equipment on Sky Patrol. What do we see here in the nose? So this is a gimbal camera. Um, this is a full HD camera um, with five axis uh, turret. It's Asia. Uh, ito lang yung may five uh, micro regions uh, stabilizer. Meaning uh, that they can't magalaw. Kahit uh, na sobrang... Maano? Yes. Uh, ano siya yung mga kapag ano siya, yung zoom in na mabilis. Tapos pag naka-full zoom siya, tapos naka, naka two times siya na extender, um, kahit na nung vibrate ng chopper, um, hindi siya makikita. The gimbal cam is operated through this remote console inside Sky Patrol's cabin. This is the play remote control. Um, it has a LCD monitor. So you can see yes. what the camera is looking at? Yes, sir. Tapos, um, it has a CCU. You can adjust the color, the video, the settings. Uh, all of the settings of the camera. Aside from the gimbal cam, Sky Patrol also has two other cameras. One is mounted near the chopper's tail rotor. In the tail camera. The tail camera. Yes. Okay, so uh, this, this is the camera, right? Yes. So it can actually show Sky Patrol habang lumilipad siya. Actual. Parang merong uh, camera ang sumusunod sa kanya mismo. Yes, sir. Parang sa video game, yes. di ba? Merong uh, chase camera mode. So ginagamit lang ito to give a more cinematic view. For the chopper. Control, yes. For the chopper. Okay. Okay para pakita kung saan siya patungo. Saka lumilipad siya. At saka yung actual na actual lumilipad. Another camera is inside the cockpit. Raynan, uh, what installed sa front para makikita ng reporter yung uh, ina-annotate niya? Actually, so, sir, yung camera nyo. Yeah. This is a lip, uh, lipstick, cam. lipstick camera. And this is the monitor. It's also an HD monitor. And, and the camera is 
also HD. HD. So the reporter can actually monitor himself para on cam. Yes. As you can see. And also the gimbal camera. And what the gimbal camera is also showing. So he can annotate, he or she can annotate what's yes, going on uh, down below Sky Patrol. The images taken by Sky Patrol's cameras are transmitted by a rotating microwave antenna installed on the chopper's undercarriage. This is operated by another console inside the helicopter. What is this? This is right. the cut, yung, uh, cut -cut switcher. Okay. This is the control. So, ito yung parang uh, counterpart na makikita natin sa studio okay. control. Yes, sir. No? Sa ating studio. Pinaliit. With the overview introduction complete, Raynan and I get on board Sky Patrol with Captain Aga at the flight control. Alright, so Captain Aga is going to bring Sky Patrol up. We'll go around uh, some parts of Metro Manila and try to see if we can spot any breaking news from up there in the sky. We took Sky Patrol over to a site in Navotas where a few days earlier, a huge fire destroyed hundreds of shanties. Sky Patrol had been dispatched to cover that story. So Sky Patrol has this distinct advantage of being uh, up there where you can show a wide area from the sky to give our viewers uh, a, uh, a better picture, a better idea of the magnitude of the destruction that happened because of the fire on Friday. And it's a good thing that Sky Patrol can hover very uh, steadily over the area so that the image itself that we can beam back to our studios and then to our audiences uh, are very steady. And that's also because the, uh, the gimbal camera is equipped with a stabilizer that will actually help to stabilize the image. So at any time, I can monitor what's going on through the LCD screen that's in front of me. Uh, the LCD screen right here in front of me shows me the video that's being taken by the gimbal cam. So I can actually annotate the video as it's being taken by the camera beamed into this LCD monitor and there I can uh, narrate whatever it is that's happening on the ground. Next, we flew over the North Luzon Expressway, a typical route for Sky Patrol when it's assigned to traffic reporting missions. So Sky Patrol, of course, is very useful when we need to do a lot of our traffic advisories. From the, from the sky, you can see a clear view uh, maybe as many as uh, two to three kilometers ahead to see if there are any traffic obstructions or uh, traffic problems along the route. For our final stop, I asked Captain Aga to fly Sky Patrol to the La Mesa Dam for a quick check on the reservoir's water level. And we're hovering just a bit to the right of the reservoir while the gimbal cam takes a closer look at these uh, structures. So we don't even have to fly directly over the water itself, but we're flying a bit to the right and we're showing you pictures taken from the gimbal cam at the nose cone of Sky Patrol. So Captain Aga, our chopper pilot, is bringing Sky Patrol just to the edge of the reservoir while my systems engineer, Raynan, is controlling the camera and where it's pointed to. Finally, we headed back to ABS-CBN and to a smooth landing on the helipad. And we are back on Terra Firma. Thank you very much, Captain Aga. Yeah, I believe I can fly. Coming up next, we'll take a look at how the move to digital has sped up the delivery of news and we'll talk to the man responsible for equipping us with our shiny toys. Keep it logged on to Future Perfect.